I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it too. Well, thank you, my lady. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tucson. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some dandan dan noodles and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Tell the good folks where we are this week. Today we're having dinner at Dan Dan Noodles. It's Chinese and they have a little section if you look online that is all vegan. And if you dine in person, they have clearly marked vegan items on their menu. Location. Where is this part at? This place is on Denman Street, right in the intersection of Robson and Denman, which is a very, very busy intersection in downtown Vancouver. There are lots and lots of other restaurants in this area, lots of Asian restaurants, especially in this area. Interior, what's the place like? From the outside, I thought it was going to be very small inside. But once you walk through, there's like tables. We sat in booths and then they also have another dining area through this little door to the right. So it's actually quite a big space. Let's talk about the most important aspect of this channel. Food. What do we get? We share the cold cucumbers in garlic sauce the Dan Dan noodles, and the Mapo Tofu. Let's get it, girl. What should we start with? Let's start with the cold cucumbers. What did you think? Oh my God, I was so pleasantly impressed by this. So refreshing, so nice, delicious sauce, cucumber nice and fresh and crispy. The garlic sauce that it came with was super spicy, super nice. Sesame seeds in there. Liked it a lot. What do you think? I'm glad you liked it. I don't often order this dish and I'm not even sure if I've ordered it with you before because it's quite simple. It's cold cucumbers marinated in this sauce, but it's a really good sauce. It's deceptively simple, I think. And the garlic, I love garlic. You have to like garlic to like this dish, I think, because it's quite strong and prominent in flavor. I know there are lots of recipes of this dish that you can find, and it's probably pretty easy to make at home. And I was just thinking, in recipes, I think they smash the cucumbers a little bit so that um, it can absorb more of the sauce because when you were eating it, I noticed you were like trying to get the cucumbers mm. into that sauce. If you smash it a little bit, there's more surface area and it absorbs more. I don't know if I would have enjoyed it as much oh. if, it was, if it was smashed. Like just a little bit. <laughs> One, two, three. Boom. Dan Dan noodles. Get it. We were asked what spice level we wanted for our dishes. And it was basically like no spice, spicy, very spicy. So I chose spicy. And these dandan dan noodles, as you get more to the saucy part of it, it gets quite spicy, pleasantly spicy, not to the point where it's like difficult to eat. It had cucumbers and crushed peanuts and you mix it all up. The noodles, I didn't like that much. It kind of reminded me like of instant noodles, that kind of texture, that kind of chewiness versus other Dan Dan noodles I've had with like a sticker noodle. But the flavors were very good. I just didn't love the noodle choice. What did you think? I love this one as well. I thought it was very flavorful. The spiciness was great, as you said, not too spicy, but just spicy enough that we just tasty. And peanuts on it were a great choice. The cucumber was good. It had sesame seeds. Really, really good dish. Enjoyed this one very much as well. One, One two, two, three. 
Before we talk about Mao Pao Tofu, let's talk about subscribe to this channel. It's an awesome channel. You know that, otherwise you wouldn't still be here. And since you are still here and you're enjoying it, press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Tell them about the bell sound like. Ding dong. <laughs> if you're a regular here, you know that Amir loves mapo tofu. Facts. And if it's on the menu, he's going to order it. Facts. And if you're not a regular here, mapo tofu is one of my favorites. And if it's on the menu, I'm going to order it. And let me tell you, this one did not disappoint. The tofu was nice and firm, but soft at the same time. Traditional. The sauce was really good. It came with a side of rice. Mao Pao tofu goes great with rice, so it was a very, very delicious dish. It's spicy again, but not too spicy. I enjoyed it. What do you think? I really enjoyed it too. I really like Mao Pao tofu as well. And it was spicy. The tofu was great i don't know it's a very simple dish again but when it's done well it's delicious one, one two, two three boom yo d dog mm -hmm. would you go back to dan dan noodle and bang again i would everything was great i really enjoyed the food they have some other vegan items that might be too adventurous for me. <laughs> what was it? What, what's so adventurous about there it? Were, there was a cold noodle dish. Oh yeah, okay. There was a dry hot pot. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. But I thought the items we chose were excellent. And I'm glad they have vegan options. It's a good place to dine downtown. Would you go back and dine again at Dan Dan Noodle? Absolutely. I was so impressed. Honestly, I tell you, it was so delicious. I wasn't expecting such good vegan meals at a meat place. And I would definitely go back. And yeah, I, I think I want that to be one of my regulars downtown. Amir, would you rather have ramen or this? No, oh, ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be crazy. Okay. Take a look at this other place where we had some delicious vegan food. Check it out and check out our episodes where we eat lots of food all the time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Peace.